It all begins today. They're going to make their respective cases. You're going to have an opportunity to vote. He is the best player in the world. I'm starting with Phil Kessel. He scores! Bill Kessel. Can I start by ripping the voters? Downey. Big rock. He scores! He is that type of difference maker. Great goal by Jamie Benn. Jamie Benn is everything you want in a hockey player. Score! I have no intention of being nice nor being friendly. Should be a good battle. <laughs> oh, franchise phase off. If you had a chance to construct the perfect team, who would you pick? The perfect setup man for your number one center flanked by a pair of snipers. Defensive forwards on your second line. A shutdown deep pairing power play specialist. This summer, that's Hawk is asking you to build the perfect team. We start with 56 names vying for the top spot on the team. The top two lines, the top two deep pairings, goalies, management. Each day we're going to roll out four names per position. Our panelists are going to debate, and you'll vote at tsn.ca. The results will be revealed on the following show. In the end, we're going to have the perfect team as selected by you, the viewer and fan. And we start the 2016 edition of Franchise Faceoff by looking at number one centers. Here are your candidates. All four players drafted first overall in their draft classes. Crosby, McDavid, Tavares, and Taves. This is a franchise player that complete elite center. Hey, Chilton Star slap me, silly Sydney. Offensively, defensively, through the neutral zone, best player in the game. Number 97, Connor McDavid. This kid is special. He, he really is. He's the real deal. Welcome to the John Tavares Show. Tavares, he shoots, he scores! What a ball by Tavares. Oh, my goodness gracious, that's all world. Jonathan Taves is taking his team on his back. Taves with a shot, he scores! He is a winner in every sense of the word. So who would you rather have your franchise built around? Sidney Crosby, two-time Olympic gold medalist, two Stanley Cups, two Art Rosses, two Hearts, and the reigning Conn Smythe winner? Whether it's for the Penguins or for Canada, Sid the Kid knows how to win. Or do you want the youngest player on our list? Connor McDavid may have just started his NHL career, but his franchise-altering skill set quickly became apparent. He finished his rookie season averaging 1.07 points per game, and he's seen success in his young career, a gold medal at the under-18s, the World Juniors, and the World Championship as well. Or how about John Tavares? In his seven NHL seasons, he scored 20 or more goals in all seven of them. And this year, he helped bring the Islanders past the first round for the first time in over 20 years. Or how about Jonathan Tapes? Captain Sirius, definitely serious about winning three Stanley Cups, two World Juniors, Olympic gold. Oh, my gosh, the awards just go on and on. All right, so we've rolled out the honors and the stats. Now it's time for Jamie and Dave to make their cases. Jamie, you're up first. Who would you take? Well, I'm going to go with the safe bet, and that's Sidney Crosby. We saw what he was capable of in the playoffs, taking home the Conn Smythe, delivering the Pittsburgh Penguins a second Stanley Cup. Yeah, I know, he's 10 years into the league, but that's two cups in 10 years, and it's really the best player against the next best player. So for me, the challenge is I'm going to go with that safe bet. I know what Sidney Crosby, what he's capable of doing, elevating his, his teammates, delivering the goods, and I thought he's been terrific all season long. So I'm just going to go with that safe bet against a guy who's only played 45 NHL games. Well, that's a safe bet, Jamie. And I think it's going to be a safe bet until about January of next year, right around the time Connor McDavid turns 20. And he won't be a teenager anymore. And he will be, right around that time, I'm guessing, the best player in the NHL. It's not just the separation speed. It's a lot about vision and anticipation and that kind of je ne sais quoi that the greats have. He's got it. We've seen it. 45 games isn't a big sample size, but it's enough for me to say I'm building my franchise around number 97. Are you convinced, Jamie? And it's, it's really tough to argue against that because I believe he is going to be, like I said, the next guy. But I talked about a safe bet, and I know I've got 10 years of sample size with Sidney Crosby. That's what I'm going to fall back on. McDavid, for me, has to prove it. So next summer, I'll be fighting for him if he backs up what you just said, Dave. Well, while he's proving it, he'll be on my roster, Jamie. So <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> All right. You've seen the stats. You've seen the numbers. You've seen the honor roll. And now it is time for you guys to vote. Who do you want centering the number one line on your perfect team? Go to tsn.ca slash franchise faceoff. You can begin voting right now. We'll unveil the winner on Tuesday's edition of the show. Voting closes on Tuesday at noon Eastern.